Let's talk about the system setup and embedded web pages. The first step to setting up your system is identifying how you will connect your controller to the network. There are two options for this. The preferred option, which I have here, is hardwiring the controller to one of the router LAN ports using an Ethernet cable. This will give you the most reliable connection. The other option is to use a universal Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter, shown here, which connects the controller to the wireless router. Kohler does not provide the Wi-Fi adapter, and you'll need to purchase this separately. Now you'll need to hardwire or wirelessly connect your computer or tablet to the same router that is connected to the controller. Let's talk about setting up your system through the embedded web pages. The first step is to make sure your computer and controller are on the same network. The DTV Plus uses web pages located within the system controller to simplify the setup of the system. Only devices that are connected and communicating to the system controller will appear as tabs on the web page. Let's take a look how easy this is to complete. From the home screen on the interface, touch the settings icon. Then press the system. Then press about. Here you'll be able to see the IP address. Copy the IP address from the displayed information. Please refer to the DTV Plus user guide for complete instructions for your system setup. Kohler recommends the Google Chrome browser for optimal viewing. Open a Google Chrome browser and enter the IP address into the address bar. The controller web page will appear in the browser. There are two tabs, Settings and Service. We will start with Settings. Under Settings are all the tabs for setting up your devices. Only devices that are connected and communicating will show up on the web page. The first tab is System, and this is where the system-wide settings are selected, such as Date and Time, Daylight Savings Time, Language, and Units. The Available Showering Configuration drop-down list allows you to select pre-configured showering options. You will only see the available showering configurations based on the valves that the controller is connected to and communicating with. We are going to select configuration A. When you do this, you will see that the SPA enable button becomes available. SPA is not available with a custom configuration. Feature enable allows you to enable massage, SPA, and steam. Steam enable will become available when the steam generator is connected. Please read your owner's manual for possible risks associated with these features. If the settings lock is enabled, it locks the settings on the interface. The user tab allows you to enter personalized preset names up to 12 characters. The reset user button allows you to clear that user preset. The valve one and two tabs allow you to define what is connected to the outlet and select individual features for that outlet of the valve. If a spot configuration was selected in the system, it will pre-populate the icons and features for that configuration. If a custom configuration was selected in the system, you will need to select the icon associated with the outlet plumb to that valve. An icon pop-up allows you to select the icon that represents the outlet in the shower. You will also need to select your default outlet, massaging outlets, and the outlets that you want to auto-purge. The temperature text box allows you to enter your default temperature and maximum temperature set points. The cold water drop-down allows you to select how long your shower will run after the hot water is depleted. The auto purge drop-down allows you to select the length of time the purge will continue after the valve has reached the default temperature. The custom massage order text box allows you to enter the desired order of the outlets that will be cycled during a massage. An example of the custom massage order is shown here. In this example, it will massage outlets in the order 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 5. When setting up a custom massage, all outlets in the massage must have equal flow. The Interface tab allows you to adjust how the outlet icons appear on the interfaces. Changes are made via dragging and dropping. The Music tab allows you to select defaults, volume, treble, bass, and balance, and it displays the current connected Bluetooth device name. The Reporting Key text box allows the user to rename the amp. The amplifier name will show up in the available device list on your mobile device. The Bluetooth pin text box allows a user to enter a new pin for the amplifier. This is a pin that needs to be entered in the mobile device when connecting to the amplifier. The lighting tab allows the water tile ambient rain, fade speed, white color, brightness, and effect speed defaults to be set. In the steam tab, the temperature text box allows you to enter your default temperature, max temperature, and default steam shower time. The Power Clean section indicates the number of minutes remaining before Power Clean must be activated. 
The Start Power Clean button allows you to start the power clean cycle at any time. The About tab displays two sections of information, the network and the software versions. The network section provides the IP address for the controller, the router gateway, and a controller MAC address. The software version section displays firmware version information for every connected system component. You will also find the same information on the About screen on the user interface. The Diagnostic tab under Service is used for fault finding, diagnostics, and capturing all error codes. It also allows you to reset the system to factory settings. Do not reset the system unless instructed by Kohler. If the system recognizes a six-port valve, the six-port valve service section is enabled. This will allow the service technician to calibrate the valve after servicing. The Update tab allows the system to be updated. If the controller is connected to the internet, it will check for software updates daily and automatically download any updates. You can force the controller to check for an update by pressing the Check for Update button. When doing this, you will not be able to use your shower until the updates are complete. Software can also be updated manually. The firmware files can be obtained from Kohler. To manually download firmware updates from a file, press Choose File, then Browse for and select the file. Once the file is selected, press Upload. The version text box is for factory use only.